Just say yeah, DJ, yeah, yeah. bleed up. Let's go. Uh, uh, we in school, been ballin' before they drop. Every demo a lot. They been cooking up a scheme while we cooking up on the pots. Always up on the scene, but I never got any spot. Yo, 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 wait, wait. Before you watch the video, special announcement. You're gonna love this one. Quit your enterprises and wait for it. Wait for it. Meti O12 have formed a partnership to provide you, the viewers, with quality content and quality products. Hmm. You might wonder who is Meti O12? First thing first, Meti means water in the Swana language. Meti provides you, they seek to provide you, the consumer, with quality water in different sizes, in different locations, wherever you are in South Africa. Meti is formed by two black entrepreneurs, Lebohang, Mampo, and Fulufelo Tambani. They seek to provide the youth with empowerment wherever they can. Of course, we know the benefits of drinking water. It's good for the skin, hydrates you, good for the heart, and several more benefits. You can follow Medzi on Instagram at Medzi012. DM them next time you're thinking of drinking refreshing water. Tell them I sent you. Disclaimer, the opinions and topics expressed on this show by the host do not necessarily reflect those of Kweche. Additionally, the views and the opinions of the guest do not reflect those of the host and Kweche. Yo, 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 what is up my people? Welcome to another show of Kweche. It's another segment. A segment you guys are not used to, a segment called The Friend Show. Today, a beautiful day. I'm your host, Brian Bongakweche. A beautiful, beautiful day. Today, I'm with Simiso, aka Sim, my brother, my friend. Introduce yourself, my brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, guys, I'm Simiso Nkuvane. I go by Sim. And yeah, we're here for the big chop of my boy, Billy. My, my B, my yes, G, sir. my G, my G, my G. Today, guys, we're gonna talk about Afcon. Afcon's been, Afcon's been hectic. That's nah, popping. That's Afcon's been hectic, bro. Afcon's been hectic. Like this might actually be Bafana Bafana's year, bro. I think so. I think so. I'm put. I'm putting my money well, on well, it. the last time on Afcon, dog? Hey, no lie. I'm gonna play the devil's advocate. Eh? Not gonna lie. Cause I, I don't trust my father, my father, bro. They've let us down a lot. Bro. But after, I mean, like after Morocco, bro. Like I'm not gonna lie, I was on the same page after, like before we played Morocco, cause Morocco have players like Hakimi from PSG. Uh, most players play in Europe, bro. There's a lot of UCL experience in that team but after Bafana Bafana beat them too, and I was like, no, this actually might be Bafana Bafana's year. Okay, that, let's be honest, though. Okay, sharp. Then we go in a free kick. That 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 that, that was clean. <laughs> that was clean. But dog, that Mukhopa goal, bro. The defense was just caught lacking, dog. No, nah, that was a good run, though. It like was he, a good run, but the defense like he, was caught lacking, dog. And that's the beauty of sports, cause um, at all times, like from the first minute to the last minute, you have to be focused. Yeah. That one time when you're not focused, it can like mess up everything. And that's what ha- happened with the um, defense, bro. Cause he that, that was a good pass. He, he made a through run and then, fo goal. Yeah, but that that guy. That, what do you think of my hope, but, dog? I'm not doing shade. I'm not doing shade, guys. But <laughs> like I have to put this out there, dog. But nah, that, that guy. Like which team does he play for? Pirates. I think it's Pirates. But most most players there, like after that performance, bro. Like let's be honest, most players deserve to play in Europe. Like especially that Mokwena guy, cause you know that keeper from Morocco. That Bono guy, you know that guy has actually has UCL experience. That guy used to play. I mean, he's used to playing like against your Messi's, your 
your Ronaldo's, your and the fact that Mokwena scored a free kick against a keeper like that, nah, bro. Nah, Mokwena is clean, though. He's a good player. All the guys from Santos actually, because they're all performing, bro. Like, <laughs> it's actually crazy, bro. Bro, P- like Sundowns are a cheat code, no lie. Nah, in the are. PSL, they are. When was the last time Sundowns actually lost the league in the PSL, bro? I don't know, bro. It's still called the PSL. This is a like then they change oh yeah it. yo that's how yeah. long i even watched the ps like, <laughs> isn't it like this tv yeah this tv yeah this shape or some shit? that's how long i haven't watched P- the south african league i i still think it's psl i still no, think they it's can PSL. let us know boys what is it is this tv something yeah like, yeah this tv something actually it is actually now that you remind me it is because you know when you're scrolling through dstv the the channel and then you just check what the channel yeah, is yeah, if it's yeah, sundowns yeah, pirates yeah. then they say like dstv premiership yeah but now nah, what but enough well, Sundowns is a cheat though because they even changed. They were winning with Pito before he went to um before he went to like, uh, internationally. Now they get a new coach. What's this guy's name? R- coach Rulani. Yeah. Do you have you seen that video where like I mean he was wo- holding a walkie-talkie at the, I, I think it was South Africa versus Morocco. He was like holding a walkie-talkie at the game. It's like he was talking to the coaches there, bro. So it's even the coach, coach, yeah. So even the coach of Sundowns is actually part of but bro let's, let, that makes sense dog ask me why why how many Sundowns players N- are there no lie no lie how many if Bafana like, Bafana win eight, dog and most of them even start bro more if Bafana Bafana win I'm saying Sundowns win bro it is Sundowns bro. it ain't bro. Bafana Bafana bro it, 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 it is Sundowns cause now nah, there's something happening there bro we don't know what it is bro but Sundowns is cooking something and if what they're cooking is gonna make us win African then I'm here for it. Bro, remember the Supposed days it. remember the days where like it used to be pirates and chiefs dominating, like it was only those two teams dominating. Someone just came out of nowhere. Yeah, dog, me, I don't wanna hear the name Chiefs dog. That <laughs> <laughs> too stresses <laughs> Chiefs is the reason I stopped watching um South African football. What? They just underperforming, huh? They shit. Hey. It's not even underperforming, they are shit. Oh, did they wait? Did they are they still like making top four? And because I'm not really into, I, I don't watch them, dog. Like, I, I stopped. Which team do you watch then? Which team do you watch most of the time? Because like, I know you're a rugby player, I know you play the, rugby. The, the Premier League, bro. That's why I watch soccer, dog. And like, yeah, and like Real Madrid and Barcelona. And Yo, Atletico, those are like they are classicals. Are classicals like, don't hit league. anymore, though. And like some guys from the Liga, dog. Yeah. Yeah, like the top teams. But yeah. South African football, nah. Yeah, cause ever since Sundowns, I used to watch PSL a lot, but ever since Sundowns started dominating, they even bought a player that's worth like 50 million, 60 million rand from Argentina, bro. How can you compete with that, bro? How yeah, can you compete with that? Mo- who give, who, who, it's Motipe, bro. That nigga, that nigga balls. That nigga owns mines. Yeah, that, that guy's rich. That uh, nigga's the uh, president of uh, CAF. I actually saw um, this morning on Bloomberg that um, Motepe, um, he has the 12th biggest mine in the whole world. <sighs> and how many mines are they? I don't know, so <laughs> there are a lot of mines. And like, he's there, number 12. So you can imagine how money that guy is. Because he's probably also earning in pounds or dollars. Bro. Or yeah, and that nigga's even the president of CAF, bro. So imagine, imagine your owner, like Sundowns, your owner is the president of like nah, an organization, bro. Like, who can stop you, really? That guy's too rich. Nah, that nigga's too rich, bro. He's an inspiration, bro. But yeah. let me tell you something. That even Afcon, I didn't watch Afcon, though. Like, you just hear, the, watch the, it like, here like, and no, I, I didn't watch it up until like I saw South Africa has some, mom- has some momentum. That's when I started watching. Yeah. When I saw people posting, even Hanis posting, I was like, damn. They might be on Springboks level here. Yes. Remember yeah. when you were watching Springboks like every time during the World Cup? Yeah. They like even bro, stopped load shedding. Bro, like bro, literally bro, load shedding. Like I'm telling you, even at home, dog, everyone watching. Everyone was posted watching the TV there. Go Colisi, go. Go Colisi. Like after the Morocco game, dog. I, no, after the Cape Verde game, um, the family group chat, dog. People were going crazy there because they're all like watching the games like at um, different uh, locations. Dog, cause I was watching with like my two cousins, um, 
But after the match, the family group was going crazy, dog. And I know my family doesn't watch soccer like that. <laughs> Bro, there's even, like, events for, like, Bafana Bafana playing. Before there wasn't, like, there's nobody like knew. If Bafana Bafana was playing, nobody knew they were playing. Now yeah. there's even spots where you can literally go watch Bafana Bafana play. And those spots are packed now. That's crazy. Like, there's a, there, there was a spot happening in Santin. And there's a video trending of, like, when Bafana Bafana won. Everyone was going crazy. Everyone's going wild. It's to show you that it might be SA's year. First, the World Cup, the Rugby World Cup. We came close with the cricket, though. We came really close with the yeah, cricket. Yeah, close, dog. But, like, I, cricket, dog. <sighs> they had one job, bro. Nah? Imagine how, like, 2023 and 2024 would be, dog, if we won, like, the ICC World Cup and we won the Rugby World Cup. Now, now. We now, have Afcon, gone. Dog. Bro, SA would be the best country in the world. Nah, that's a big flex, but they just, bro. They, they, they just had to um, let us down. But we still love them. But, nah, them Indians, them Indians can play cricket, bro. Let's not lie. Them nah, they Indians, can, they bro. breathe cricket, bro. They can, bro. I don't like that sports, dog. Them niggas breathe cricket. I don't cricket. like cricket, dog. Because in primary school and high school, like, I'm an a- I'm a, I'm an athlete, dog. Yeah. Like, I'm a sportsman, but like, I'm one of those guys that can play. You're like an all rounder. You're an all rounder in primary. Yeah. I can play like yeah. every sport, bro. Were your father? What were your bowler, cricket? Were you a batsman? Oh, uh, uh, so shit! I did everything, bro. Wherever I could fit, dog. That's where they put me, bro. Then you eventually found rugby. Yeah, yes. but yeah, but I was better. I was better at bowling. Um. There was bowling at you? Oh, I'm no, thinking. Like, I'm thinking. Oh, I'm thinking. Compared yeah. Compared to like batting, batting dog. That ball dog used to come fast, bro. Yeah. That ball used to come fast. Yeah. Dog. I feel like at school, them Indian niggas didn't like me. Why? Because they, they were they bowling fast. Like, yeah. That ball dog. You see, like when my fellow brothers are like black men or bowling dog. The ball comes slowly, nice, dog. Hitting for four six, dog. The ball, what you call those yeah. swing, those yeah. yeah. My niggas know themselves, dog. But whenever these Indians bowl, bro, <laughs> quick, dog. <laughs> and that ball is painful, so I don't like cricket. And even those padding, those padding with nothing, bro. Heavy, dog. And it, I feel like they distract you when yeah, you like dog, a Batman. They just protect like your shins and like thighs. Yeah, and you have a helmet. Yeah, and you yeah, have yeah, like but a yeah, dog, uh, what do they call it? The thing you put on your balls? What do they call it? A ball protector. <laughs> <laughs> Get it. <laughs> the irony. <laughs> That's cool, yeah, dog. But even that thing, I swear, dog, that thing doesn't work, dog. Bro. Cause like even like even the the protection of cricket, bro, I feel like that thing's everything you're wearing is too heavy for you to even like hit the ball. I wonder how yeah, those guys yeah, are so like used the to first it, bro. Few times it's heavy, but like like everything in life, though, if you do it long enough, yeah, you get used, used to it. To basically, it, so yeah. Like yeah. Muscle memory and everything. Nah, facts, facts, facts. Yeah, 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 bro, let's yeah. go back to Afcon. Yeah, like Afcon way. Ronald Williams. Nah, that guy's amazing, though. I'm gonna name my kid Ronald Williams. Fuck it. The kid. I'm gonna name my kid Ronald Williams. And not him Vala, dog. Ronald, you know Ronald. I read somewhere Ronald Williams was the first keeper. Like in the in history to save four penalties in like a, a a world stage, the first keeper in history. So imagine better than Buffon. Buffon didn't do that. Neuer didn't do it. Casillas. Imagine, bro. And it all started with that with that with that like last minute save. Yeah, you. That save, dog. You. I, I, so I don't know if it was Instagram or Twitter. Um, I saw they compared it to um like to the one um Martinez made. Oh, against uh, against uh, France, uh, France yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, for the World Cup. Nah, bro, we'd, after that save, we deserve to go all the way. That reminded me of, like, you remember how good Prime Manuel Neuer was, bro? Yeah, yeah, Yo. yeah. That guy, that, guy, that guy was good, bro. That guy was good. But, like, now, nah, dog, Ronan Williams, dog, he's him, bro. He's him, bro. He deserves to go to you, bro. One can say anything, dog. And South Africa loves Kune, dog. <laughs> we, must cha- we must direct that love. To to win, he's our new dog. Kune. Yeah, dog. <laughs> Kune didn't do that for us. Nah. Why Kune the Walker, for us? yeah, the Walker. What did he do as well? Tau, Kune, bro. bro. But I mean, let's give Kune his flowers, bro. Charles Baddies, though. No lie. Charles no Baddies. lie. Who was he child most of the time? He oh, he taught he taught um what you call it um. Do you know um, Andile Pisani's sister? Kune was there. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, that nigga's been around, bro. That nigga's been around. Cool, no, that's badly. This South yeah, African yeah. plays chow hands, bro. Yeah, nigga, you lying, they bro. chow hands. I just hope Kelly Kumala doesn't get to to our to to our boy Ron Williams, bro. <laughs> I just hope he doesn't. <laughs> I just hope he doesn't get to our boy Ron Williams, bro. We we need him. 
Uh, we yeah, R.I.P. Senzo, best keeper in Afri- South African history. But we need, we need, we need him, bro. Leave, leave, um, leave we need KD him. Kumanda, we need him, bro. Let's we need him. Let's list it. Like, we need him, bro. A bit, dog. Like South Africa's been on a case, man. Understandably so, though. But like, come on, like, let's give the lady a break, man. Nah, bro. But like, but like. But like, I feel like when you're female, bro, I feel like when you're female in South Africa, celebrity, female, almost like Pearl, your Pearl Tusi, almost like your, 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 I think Dumi, I forgot her name. Like, once you, like, you have a bad body, everyone's on your case now. Everyone's on your case now. Like, even your South African players, they're on you. Like, I, bro, like, over the past few years, I mostly see, I feel like most of these women, eh, yeah. they became fa- famous because of our players. Think about it. Our South African players. Think about it. First, it was Senzo Meir, Senzo Meir. Then also, um, Lodge yeah. with Natasha. Then Itumilen Kune. That's a couple. Ne? Yeah, Lodge and Natasha. That's a couple. Ne? How do you feel about Lodge going to Sundowns, though? He wants to win. <laughs> but Sundowns are destroying the league, buying good players, bro. Yeah, he wants to win everything. Yeah, he wants to probably win CAF and... See, I don't even know, like, if South African football is entertaining because I don't watch it, like... It's better if you, like, you watch it live, like, this... Yeah, like, going there, yeah, yeah, with with, with your with yeah. your friends, like, going there live, just a day out, nah, facts. Watching it on TV, but even the stadiums are not, are not as full as before as well. Dumb. They used to be hella full, now... South African stadiums, <laughs> they have been full... Back in the days, bro, when Chiefs and Pirates were yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's a derby dog, but nah, bro. Even the tickets are cheap. Like, we're, tickets go for 40 bucks I, now. When I still stay in PMB, bro, like, um, we used to, like, get free tickets to go to go watch our Mars Big United play. Empty as fuck. And no free tickets. Yeah, it was empty as fuck, bro. You could literally count the people there type, type of thing. You can but, literally count the people there. It was empty, bro, like, but it was bad. So I've never seen, besides like Chiefs and Pirates when they play, I've never seen the stadium full for any other teams. Yeah. If I'm, if I, my personal experience, if I'm being honest. Especially if it's like those, I would say, teams fighting relegation, like your cheaper United versus like uh, Sekukune United. Those you stadiums. see, the, where does even Sekukune come from? Bro. But that's also one thing about PSL, bro. Like, also re- another reason why it's not as good is because if you have money, you can literally buy a, a team. Like, let's say if your team relegated right now to the second division. If you have, like, five million sitting in your account, you can literally buy the status of, like, a team in the first division. That's true, dog. That's true. Bro. Like, if it was structured like the Premier League, you see the Premier League, once you relegate it, you relegate. There's no way. But one thing I also like about the Premier League, bro, even fourth division fans, like, even fourth division it's teams, packed. it's packed. Yeah, um, they're loyal. They're loyal. Too loyal, bro. I, I have, I'm not loyal to any South African team. <laughs> the only team I've been loyal to since birth is United. Menu. Menu. Yeah, but they've been performing, though, no lie. Dark like they were the one yesterday. That, that's my team, but don't let United fool you, bro. What do you think about Onana? I don't like him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Onana, bro. Niggas, why, why did you guys change the hair, bro? Like, what happened with the hair? Bro, that's like the one thing I would never understand. Because not like the hair was not yeah. performing. He was performing. It doesn't make sense for like the entity to let go of him yeah that makes sense because there was a time where i remember there was a time where real madrid when he was like in his prime real madrid yeah. were knocking for him and guess what you know what happened what um for the move to fail through a fax machine broke so the deal, a deal to real madrid That's didn't petty reason, bro bro, bro. it's a petty reason dog. the hairs i feel like in history except for van der Sar, of course the hairs was actually one of the best keepers in United history, in my opinion, yeah, as yeah, a Liverpool yeah. fan. Yeah, but even even Peter Schmeichel was um pretty good. More than the hair. No, not more than the hair, but like United has a history of good keepers. Facts. Like, that's what I'm trying to Facts. say. And Onana better not mess it up. No. Because the way he starts is a shaky, my guy. <laughs> they even shaky. he just allows goals, but I feel like just I feel like maybe give him one more season, then we can judge though. You think so? Maybe. 
maybe maybe it's those type of seasons where you know how every player just tries to adjust to a new league yeah, in the yeah, first yeah. season because the Premier League's a tough league though but but also he does have like a couple of clean sheets so mm. um maybe maybe he'll have a turnaround you know you never know i'm I not i'm not gonna count him out but as of now i don't feel like i'm in safe hands or united is every hands. every time you watch them play you're like oh nana please don't flop Oh, no, no, please don't mess up. Bro, I don't trust him, bro, like... But, okay, he's a status man, so hopefully he lives up to that status. Yeah, because United's a big club, definitely. And they pay big money for Yeah, him, so yo, 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 they pay in England, bro, like, it's way more, like, they even pay weekly. Like, a, an average player in the Premier League can get, like, 50,000 pounds per week. An yeah, average player. Yeah, and convert true. that to rand. Nah, that was good. That's what actually made me. I remember when I was a kid, bro. Like that's what actually made me wanna turn pro. Cause like, imagine getting paid weekly in England. That was my goal. To play in, soccer. Yeah, to what? become a. Don't lie. Even you wanted to change. become a pro. I played competitive soccer for like, a, 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 like a good time, bro. Yeah, I played competitive for like a, a good time, like primary school. Cause for when I was like thirteen, I was playing for under fifteen and seventeen. Yeah. In PMB. Um, and then when I went to high school, like, I made my first team at St. Charles, um, grade nine, till my trick, like, represented kids and stuff, but bro, going there's so much competition yeah, though, yeah, 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 when you come to Choburg, niggas from Choburg are good, bro, yeah, niggas from Choburg are good, cause all the ca- academies are here, like, your Pirates Academy, yeah, your yeah, Chiefs yeah, Academy, yeah. Super Sport, also like the, what's it called? The development phases for soccer here in Joburg. Facts. Know, they, they, they take care of it. They invest money into it, like Facts. all the teams. In case it didn't, bro, like, unless you're in Durban, because they, they have your Amazulu, your OAM, Richards Bay, I don't know, that team. Unless you're that side, like, you have opportunities. But if in case it didn't, now, nah, bro, Marisburg United takes all the shit players, bro. Yeah. And you obviously get, like, those, like, few good guys, but they always, like, move to Joburg. So in KZN, which sport do you think they take more serious? Do they take rugby more serious than? Oh no, that in KZN it's definitely rugby, bro. Yeah. Yeah, cause you're, you're like your top schools, dog. You have your. There's a lot of old boy school there, yeah, and I know yeah, they play rugby. You yeah. Must be college, Kenwood, yeah. Kersney, Westville, Hilton, mm. Michaelhouse. I'm not gonna say St. Charles. St. Charles is an academic school. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> is it a private school? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a school. Well, the ones where you pay like hundred k per year. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. But I'm, yeah, that's, that's a lot of money, bro. Yeah, yo. Now imagine what you send your kid to a private school. That motherfucker fails. It's tough, bro. Even if, bro, even if I'm a millionaire, I'll send my kid to a public school, bro. Hundred k per year. I feel but, like, bro, I feel you like, or not, if your kid fails, dog, you'll feel some type of way. Facts. Cause like no matter money, how corrupt you are, you don't want your kid to fail. Facts, cause it's also like money wasted as well when you actually think about yeah, it. Yeah, bro, but our parents do like waste a lot of money on our stuff. No lie. Yeah. No lie. For things we shouldn't be doing. No lie. We're not there. Yet. Let's no talk li- about Afcon. No bro. lie, bro. No Let's lie. Talk about no lie. What well, What are your opinions like on um? What's your opinion on uh, Nigeria and Bafana Bafana? A tough one. New thing. A tough one. Oh, I'm, I'm not, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking South Africa out though, because I learned my lesson doubting them against Morocco. I learned my lesson. What do you think the score is gonna be? I feel like it's gonna go to penalties. Yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. it's gonna be maybe a one-one. Maybe South Africa scoring a lucky goal. Why do one, you say one. lucky, bro? Because I mean, le- I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, you see the game against Morocco though. Yeah, 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 Morocco yeah. were dominating most that's of the time. True, that's true. That's true. But uh, uh, hey, dog, it, it, it's definitely going to be a, 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 um, a, a low scoring game. Facts. Because both um, Nigerian and South African defenses are, are solid. Fact. I feel like it's going to be a game where South Africa defend most of the game. I feel like it's yeah, going to yeah, be those yeah. type of games. Because yeah, so Nigeria's front three, awesome man. Yeah. So both teams have like good defenses. So I think yeah. the match is going to be won like by that like. Yeah, those like few opportunities yeah. that come about. I hope I hope Mokwena gets a free kick and s- scores like he does. But, he did but, but I don't Morocco. think it's gonna go to penalties. I think it's gonna be like one nil to either team. I'm also not counting South Africa out. Mm. I think it's gonna be one nil. 
and no lie to Nigeria or South Africa. Because even Oshiman, he's not been playing that well, but his like work off the ball has been good. But we know what he can do, bro. That, yeah, that it guy, might be his day as yeah, well. Bad, it might be bro. his day as well. It might be his day as well. And also another thing, bro. Like that. I mean, I'm, I'm a betting guy. Yeah, like I'm not gonna lie, I'm a betting guy. And that Oaks. those odds, guys, those odds. Guys, let's leave Betway alone. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. no, last him. Imagine you bet on SA on that Morocco uh, game. I don't want to hear this guy. Yo. There's no future in Yo. Betway. Leave Betway. But no, like Betway Charles, bro. Leave Betway alone. Betway bro. Charles, Betway, bro. you'll win like 10k once, bro, and lose for the rest of your life. Bro. <laughs> that's that's a very real Betway story. Bro, it's the, but it's the slip that gets you. You know when you're on Betway, bro, and you're like saying, for example, Inter Milan, AC, no, Inter might win this. And you look at the slip, like let's say there's five plays there, and you're like, nah, man. Cause surely, we, surely this will work out. Because we bet with emotions, bro. bro. I used to bet for United to win, but I know they're not gonna win. Against even Sheffield, they they, they end up drawing. Well, now nah, I get that feeling, bro. Also, we must remember, guys. Actually, I mean, not dark. You just listen, guys. Remember, odds do not play the game, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Human beings play the game. It happened to me yesterday, bro. Like. I'm a Liverpool fan. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm bit yeah. like for the past few. How do you feel, <sighs> bro? I'm not gonna lie. That what, was what kind of sin that you guys trying to give club, man. <laughs> <laughs> but we t- we winning a trophy this year at least. Uh-huh. Winning yeah. a trophy we're, this year at least. Trying, buddy. We in Carabao Cup final. We in the Carabao we Cup final. Chelsea. Oh, uh, we oh, taking Chelsea. Yeah, we yeah, taking no. Chelsea. That I mean. Chelsea. Chelsea lost to Wolves like four two yesterday. But it, like, but no lie, no lie, it's, it's a final though. It's a final, and you know what? If Chelsea turn up, but I trust my boys though. Nah, I trust dog. my boys. Nah, dog. I also think Liverpool's gonna win. But it might be a tight game as well. I'm not gonna lie. I never count Chelsea out with the players they have. I never count Chelsea out. I know, I know they've been off form, but with the players they have, I never count Chelsea out, bro. They only have Nkunku. Sterling. Sterling in with his run, you know how he runs. <laughs> with his run, yeah. Sterling is good, but like it's not banging as much as it did for Yeah, yeah for City. When he City, for yeah. And, and City, and City. Yeah. I feel like his best season was Oh no, they have Kuku and Palmer. Why am I forgetting Palmer? Cold Palmer is the way. Mm. Tiago yeah. Silva here and there. I know it's old, that but here and there. Old, bro. They they can't build a team like around Tiago Silva. Yeah. They need to like give opportunities to the younger guy yeah you know hopefully i feel like maybe it might be even his last season there because that guy's nearly 40 bro nice, that guy's nearly touching his but he's probably still gonna play he might even go to saudi or something you never know because because the like, money is there he, lo- he, lo- he looks healthy and fit so i'm sure he'll but saudi matter of fact saudi might even be the next one of the biggest leagues in the next few years they, they're buying top players but bro, that would suck bro because then how would niggas watch sports bro they don't have UCL, but he, they, them Saudi niggas have money. They might even end up buying the UCL and then Saudi teams playing the UCL. That's true, dog. Money runs this well, bro. bro. We need to get on that train real quick. Bro. No one to be left behind. Bro. You know? Bro. Matter of fact, bro, talking about money, talking about money, bro, like, I mean, <sighs> I, I'm still, I'm still thinking about that Liverpool game, bro. I'm still thinking about that <laughs> Liverpool you, you game. You lost money on Beto, bro. <sighs> But it is what it is. It is what it is, bro. It is what it is. What cheered me up, though, what cheered me up is South Africa winning. And on top of that, you know, I know I know, Bedway is getting to me, but on top of that, what's cheering me up is those Cape Verde women, bro. <laughs> those Cape Verde women. <laughs> Tell me, what about them? What about them? Sim. I saw, I saw like, um, statuses. Everyone is going crazy. Sim, don't be surprised a year from now. You see me scouting at Cape Verde looking for a potential wife, bro. Don't be surprised, bro. You think she's there? Eh. So you forgetting I, how... I, so- I feel like my soulmate is there. You forgetting how South African women look now? Think, But think about it, bro. We, we used to South African women. The fact that we saw a glimpse on TV of Cape Verde women. Mm. Imagine how much so of abundance a, is there. That's exciting. Be exciting. Come on, Sim. I can't be alone. I can't be alone. Those women there. Oh, no, like ima- like those those few like ima- you watching the game, bro. Like you watching the game, and every time the ball went out, 
the cameraman's po- for those thirty seconds. Your life changed. Over those thirty seconds, Your bro. Life changed. I've never seen one average cave girl woman. Yeah, nah, they are they 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 are pretty. I'm not gonna lie, but um, niggas must not forget that in South Africa we also have beautiful women. No lie, no lie. You guys are beautiful. You girls are beautiful. No lie, you girls are beautiful. But you guys give uh, us a hard time. Why? Yo. Why? Yo, why? That's not good, dog. Why? That's the problem. I, I, I hear people saying closer women are, are stubborn, Zulu women are stubborn. <laughs> dog, in general, all women are bro, stubborn. Bro, bro, playing hard to get, playing with games. You never know. What if cable women are easy? Are easy to get? They, they no, found out you. A, a lady, a good lady, must challenge you, bro, so you grow, dog. You don't want a lady. But not, just... not challenge you in a way like they test your manhood and they like. They should. Nah. So that you can know that you are a man. All a nigga wants is peace. All a nigga wants is peace, bro. All a nigga wants is peace. Go home, find a cooked meal there. Saying your wife waiting there. Saying, come baby, on, are you hungry? Come on, where are you gonna get that dog? So you are you? So you? And 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 this century we're living in, you think you're gonna get a woman that's gonna cook at night? So so me, you saying you want a toxic wife? What? You you say you want a toxic wife? Oh, um, everyone loves a bit of toxicity. <laughs> I always, I always say that. <laughs> Dog, like, toxic relationships are fun. Oh, oh. As long as you guys know how to move away from that and be happy. But, uh, I mean, the arguments, the all, she doesn't trust you, checking your phone. Nah, but, like, yeah, I get all of that, but toxicity is fun, bro. Don't you think so? Uh, okay, to each his own. To each his own, I guess. True, dog. I to been, each his own. Dog, I'm sh- Guys, being toxic is fun. Not that I'm toxic. Like, I'm just saying that, like, in a relationship, toxicity is fun. And you do find yourself, like, even if you're not looking for it, it happens to everyone. But, uh, okay, I agree with you. I agree with you because, like, to a point, because, like, women are, let's not lie, ladies, you guys are emotional creatures. So, I mean... You wouldn't want a guy to keep you happy all the time. Yeah, and emotionally, niggas, yeah. niggas are dumb. Facts. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. So, I mean, toxicity spices the relationship. I'm not gonna lie. It spices yeah, it up. And, yeah. so, and sometimes, bro, me, I'm true to God. Sometimes I'm phased by what, like, makes um, women pissed off. Like, women my age. Yeah. Like, even my girl, but, like, I'm phased. Yeah. Like, dog, why are you pissed? But I, I feel like, yeah, I like, mean, it's, it's all... What's going on? C- come on, bro, like... Like, why are you pissed? And one thing about women, do you realize they can't even be friends with each other, like, for long term? I can meet you, Sim, i be honest, I can meet you today. And if we share the same characteristics, we, we can end up being friends for, like, bodies, forever. Bro. We'll go to a club and split... Bro, and like, like, we just met each other, even though I met you today... It'll feel like we're friends for years. That's how that's niggas facts. are. That's facts. That's how niggas are. Women, that's like, facts. they can be, like, friends for, like, five years and yeah, still not but, trust but, each other. But that's something we'll never understand as Bro. niggas. Bro. Just like how, like, um... <laughs> just like how niggas, dog. Niggas, niggas can be snakes. That's real, though. That's real. Niggas are snakes. That's real. So, as a nigga, I think it's very important to have, like, a maximum like four to five friends facts facts because niggas are snaky facts you know? especially if they see you winning they don't want to see you and be yeah. be the niggas you chill with that's chowing your hand facts facts you know and you be telling you be telling them about and your I'm, hand I, I, you be lucky. telling yeah i'm lucky sorry to cut you off i'm lucky because i'm always just like the one chilling and watching this movie in front of me like play out the niggas Niggas, 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 it's several of the fittest, man. If you have no game, you suffer. But that's also another thing. Uh, you have to get a woman that's also trustworthy as well. Yeah, yeah. A, a hand that's yeah, also yeah, trustworthy yeah, as well. Because yeah. also, yeah, niggas are... Like, you can be chilling as you're with your friends, telling how nice your hand is, how the this, this shit he, she does for you. Not knowing that one of you niggas is actually plotting there. That's how niggas are, no lie. Me, that would break me, dog. That's how niggas I, are, I, no I, lie. I, 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 I would be hurt, dog. That's how niggas are, no lie, bro. We live, as you say, survival of the fittest, but bro. Dog, that happens. I've been in a situation now, so they know a bit about me. <laughs> in high school, I think I'm like 9, 10. 
I'm not gonna drop names or anything, cause yeah, I've been in a situation, dog, where um, like my roommate, dog, child, my girlfriend at the time. Oh, so you stayed at like um a boarding uh, yeah, school? Yeah, I was a boarding uh, school, dog. So my roommates, like, we, 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 dog, hey, me and this thing were tight as fuck. How 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 were the building structured? Was it like? Was it uh boys uh um what no, I went to a, building? I went, I went to an old boys school. Oh, I see. I had a sister school though, like five minutes away. And like, they had their own. Yeah, they had like, their own. It was like two different boarding schools. School. Oh, they I see. They only met up like if they're like socials and events. Yeah, yeah, sports and, events. And yeah, chapel like every um every Sunday. Yeah, I used to go to church, man. Not anymore though. <laughs> <laughs> I know what your church is. Nah, nigga. Drama. Don't do that. Club. Bro. You, if you know, you know. That, if you know, you bro, know. That's why I'm joking, bro. I'm trying to change, bro. I'm telling you guys, me and this guy went to the same university. Every time I would see most of these status, drama, Coco. That's his new church. <laughs> nah, but gotta stop that life, dog. It's all nice. It's not I wanna go out and I'm celebrating something. Facts. You know. Yeah, it's not. It's not like. It's very easy for someone to be caught up in that life. Facts. Especially in university, bro. Facts. Like you, you forsake like the important stuff. Facts. All in the name of fun. Mm. Yeah. But it's also, as you said, it's also good to road yourself once in a while and true, you know true, go true. to those type of events. You know, I'm also a club. I also go to clubs here and there to also reward myself as well. Cause like the nightlife is also dope. Let's not lie. Yeah. Say nightlife is dope. Yeah, but guys, don't, don't don't be don't be launched by your friends. You know you get those friends yo, that like going out, yo. dog. But they pass all their modules. And you ask yourself, how do they do it? How? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, we go to university for different reasons. Mm. Damn, that sounded black. For different <laughs> reasons. <laughs> different reasons. We all have like our own goals mm. we'll want to be like in different places so keep demanding the main thing because mm. if you don't people around you are going to excel you're going to be stagnant in the same mm, place still in first year yeah while your niggas are still in fourth yeah, year but I'm like all the homies I made like in university they, yeah, they, they're, they're, they're progressive homies, yeah. yeah they're all smart they yeah. progressive in their own they way. push you yeah they push mm. and we all know how to say no to each other mm. that's very important mm. like because hey, you can get friends that are like ah oh, sim same bro let's go bro peer pressure peer pressure hits yeah th- and i've been in those situations dog and i would go bro yeah they'll be hitting dog, they'll boy. be hitting you like nah sim let's go bro so and so is going there and that hits you you when yeah. they say so and so is gonna be there at home they might shout at me or they might be shocked when they hear this but i've written an online exam at a club no way <laughs> you know when we're still COVID, ah, when we're still COVID, yeah i've written an exam at the club dog. so why you why, so why you're grooving nah, why you're grooving I, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie i first got there niggas were having fun yeah i was like on my phone yeah doing mcq questions like 50 mcq like it was mcq though yeah but i had studied so i knew my work i knew i was gonna pass the problem is i just did the test at the club so i did it dog after that i rocked i got my mark on mass same time no, no. Well, did you drink? Time. Did you have pre yeah, drinks? Did time. you have pre's? Nah. Also, you entered the club so before, before yeah, doing yeah, this yeah. test. Then yeah. I did my test, but it's wrong. But why would a person do a test at the club? But I mean, that me, that might be the first in history. I, I mean, nah, none of nah, your, nah, none nah, of your have probably done that. Nah, but niggas do that shit. <laughs> wait, wait, were you? Do that. So, so you like were you inside the club doing the well, test? I was at the club, dog, chilling like people were having fun. I was chilling by the seats, the high seats, doing my test. And you asked niggas to like, so niggas were having fun in front of you, while you were like, yeah, okay. the music was doing. And it was going in, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was going in but, nicely. But, yeah. but 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 one thing I can say at home, they can't do nothing to me. Because you're a graduate. I got that degree yeah. they wanted. Let's clap hands for that. Yeah, bro. Let's clap hands for that, bro. I got the degree That's a they mission. Wanted. That's a mission, though. Yeah, yeah. That's a mission. I'm I'm not gonna lie, ever since I started uni, I never knew that. Okay, I knew I was gonna graduate eventually, but like you know when you start uni and now when you graduate you like that that happened quick. Like it's sort of like unexpected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it have it I have that feeling like now that I also graduated as well, I have that feeling like it's I'm excited but it's sort of like unexpected, like did I really graduate? Yeah, nigga. You, you know? Did. 
You know, but now nah, tough to myself. You bro. did that, bro. No, no, you bro, all did the that, hard bro. work, bro. All the sleepless nights, bro. All the you sleepless nights. All the sleepless nights, bro. And also, you did that as well, bro. Nah, I did that. Th- you also <laughs> did that as well, bro. April, I can't wait. But talk some exams had me, do- yo. Especially those sit down exams, yo. Boy, there was this module, dog. Micro micro economics. Yeah, I'd had me, dog. Boy, I write the exam. It was it was sit down? Yeah. Yeah. Like last year, all my exams were sit down. Mm. I didn't have like even all my tests were sit down. I didn't like have anything big like online. That exam, bro. I write the like first main exam, bro. Now, mind you, my cam mark is good. I'm thinking, damn, I just did like a young fifty year dog. Then you I'm go, getting yeah. my sixty five percent. My guy. Mm. Fail. Even final mark. No, you, you need to like pass your. You need to like get more than fifty, right? To yeah. Pass. No. So I got oh yeah, 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 yeah. Qualified yeah, yeah. for the SDA. Yeah. And how no, did you do? for the supplementary exam. Yeah. And the supplementary exam is normally harder than the normal yeah. exam. So huh? I'm like, nah, cool. At least I have the supplementary exam, bro. I get to the sub. <sighs> Twice Fail. as hard. I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm like, you try to do this one. Now, dog, people already. I'm thinking, damn, dog, I need to go back to school, dog, second semester, for like six months. And time, and time. When I'm sure when you're in that exam room, you're writing the test. You're halfway. Some people are already standing up, finishing. You're like, ah, yeah, bro. You're like, ah. I, I, I never leave like a paper. This is like 10, 15 minutes left to make sure I, I will go yeah, 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 my papers yeah. twice. And I swear to God, bro, every time I went over like the questions, I felt confident. Now nah, I got this. I felt twice, bro. Like damn. Now I drink the same. But people get their marks. People are happy. I remember the Boondus, dog. Trying to study as well because you had to also go nah, for the SDA as yeah. well. Uh, for the what is it called? Yeah, SDA. Yeah, mm. SDA. Mm. Uh, at the and the Boondus, dog, like drink the same. But dog, like now nah, I was chilling. I was having fun family i was really thinking about school because i had to, i had to like first apply to get like the sda and pay before i can write mm-hmm. you know luckily like i've never like failed like first year second year and, and, it, and it was only that one month so i got granted the sda mm-hmm. bro but yeah, is it january is it? i was writing on the 15th of january dog for like those two weeks straight dog i was pushing box dog like I don't want to hear nothing about New Year's. I don't want to hear nothing about plans. I don't want to see my friends. I don't Sim, let's go here and there. I no, no, I, not today. I don't want to see not today. I was at home. I even told, I even told like my people, dog. Guys, I don't, want, I don't even want money around me, dog. I just want to study. I need to graduate, dog. Dog, you know how tough it is telling people that it's your final year. You ready to chase life? Get the bag. Then you come back. Then they ask, "Oh, Sim, dog, you here?" Yeah, yeah yo, ah. bro, that eats you up. No lie. Ah. That is that was actually my motivating factor in my final year as well. That was actually a motivating factor for me. No, I don't want to be here again next year, bro. I was like, it can't be me, bro. Next year, nah, bro. I can't be me, dog. Then my family asked me if I wanna fly here from Chicago to Cape Town like the day before my exam, or like a week before. I was like, nah, let me go to Cape Town a week before. Hey, but I'm there, dog. I locked myself in the room that I'm studying, dog. Pushing, dog. I had a paper cape. I wrote it, dog. I was like, nah, dog, there is no way. I have never prayed so much in my life, dog. Before the paper, during the paper, after the paper. I knew there was no way I'd fill that exam. <laughs> then when the mask came, you were like, nah, like, nah. When I came out to, when I came out to job, I was like, nah, I'm clean, dog. Mm. When they asked me, home, do, you think, do you feel like you passed? I'm like, yeah. clean, yeah. The MCQ was tough, though. Yeah. But now nah, I passed. Yeah. And luckily, like, God pulled through and I passed. Now a nigga graduate now. Nah. nah, that was scary. Dog. I don't wish that upon anyone, bro. That's bro, scary, get it, bro. getting your final, like getting marks. You know those first few days before you know your marks are. You 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 trying to do you trying to do stuff to good people. You trying to do good stuff to people. You know, trying to hope that luck goes your way. Hoping that you get a good report. Cause like with me, bro. Before I got my mark, bro, I was like praying every day. I was like saying, nah, Lord, prayer, please. Prayer, prayer will take you far, guys. Facts. I'm not. I'm not. Facts. I'm not saying homies must go to church, but like, you need to believe in something. Facts. You know. Facts. Facts. 
Because nah, I feel, I feel nah, like there's I a believe, higher power out be, there. Definitely. I there's believe, a higher power I believe, God, I believe in God and both like my ancestors, bro. Mm. Yeah. Same here. Same here. Because like I also feel like also... My ancestors are the medium for me. Cause it, it, to God, like vice versa. Because it makes sense. Like for me, it also makes sense. I also believe in ancestors as well. It yeah, makes sense yeah. that... Uh, then uh, you get family these baddies that turn out in the boondies like you post like maybe a dead cow or something maybe it's slaughtering or something like no why are you hurting me bro relax, they won't, they won't bro. understand bro that's our culture I don't like that dog I want like well it's a good thing I have like women in my life that understand culture mm. Mm, how to slaughter a cow that knowing that slaughtering a cow is just part yeah, of culture dog. yeah Cause my cousins, my girl, everyone thought they know like culture, bro. That that's important, dog. Those are tough. Do you know how to slaughter a cow, Sim? Nah, but I've never slaughtered a cow. Dog. I have I, this part I, December. I I, 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 I know I, I know what to do, but I haven't slaughtered a cow, dog. And, and to be honest with you, dog, like, hey, dog, I've seen these videos, dog. Like, I don't know if you can, like, like um, when you, when you're doing this, bro, like, put the videos, dog. Cows, cows are dangerous. Bro. They like you need like at least eight guys holding like one holding eight. neck, one holding the legs, bro, one holding each leg. That rope has those guys, those cows, cows are wild. Tree, dog, like, yeah. Cows are dangerous. Yeah, bro. these videos, especially with those horns. Like if it catches you, those horns angry. Especially a bull. Yeah, but 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 I do want to slaughter a cow. Yeah, I do. I think I'm at an age where I should now to slaughter a cow. Dog. I'm 21. Dog. Like I should slaughter a cow. Bro. Nah, I, was, I slowed the car this past December, bro. Like, it was my first time seeing guys. Because you know how they do it first, now They first hold, the, they first hold the, the neck. And then there's, like, something in the cow that they, like, on the neck that they sort of, like, stab, like, a vein. Then it completely falls dead. It goes wild. It goes wild for a while. But then it completely goes yeah, but, but dead. There's pros for that, bro. I, I, I feel like different um, cultures do it differently. Mm. So, I know some cultures, they fight, like, the... I don't know what it's called. I don't know what it's called mm-hmm. in English. Mm-hmm. What is it called in English? Like a what? A face mark? Like what? No, I'm called the, like the spear. Oh, yeah, yeah, spear. yeah, yeah. The yeah, fight yeah. here. That, that's part of the car. Some of them, like, from here. I know different cultures do it differently, bro. Some of them, but I mean, after hitting it on the head, it goes wild well for, for yeah, a moment yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. Boy, I've seen videos, dog, when niggas shy at the same time. Gone. Those guys are pros, though. Nah, bro. You Those did long pros. enough, dog. You are going to become a pro, dog. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm, nah, like, facts. Nah, 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 nah. Facts. Nah. Facts. Nah, hey. We straight away for a moment. Let's go back to AFCON, yo. Nah, dog. F-con. We, we chopping it up, dog. Facts. 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 This is a big chop, nigga. Facts. It's a big chop, dog. Like, we had to chop it up. But it facts. Big, dog. Facts, nah. Soccer is not the only... AFCON is not the only thing happening in South Africa right now. But we both play soccer, so it was sort of like a thing that we can relate to as well. Yeah, dog, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie, like, um, these past few years, dog, like, I'm having like mixed emotions about sports, dog. Like, I love sports, but I wanna play sports for fun. I don't feel like, I, yeah. don't, I don't think like I want yeah. that pressure anymore. For, yeah. Like, working hard to make a team, working hard to reach this goal. Going to trials. Yeah, I just feel like I just wanna play for mm-hmm. the love of sports because mm. if like I was going to be a professional at rugby or soccer bro that would have happened like long ago mm. I know I'm still young but like I feel like right now I'm more into like making money mm. businesses and stuff I'm, I, I, I don't want to say like I'm an academic but I'm, I'm more into learning like skills mm. to know like, that that, 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 that enha- um, enhance penetration like for me as an individual and I know you've been looking for jobs as well I'm also trying to look for jobs what have you been applying for like what positions have you nah, been applying dog, for I've, this I've one? been applying like in positions like um in financial spaces yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's obviously, where the money's at obviously yeah. i can't disclose like exactly where i'm applying and stuff mm-hmm. and which companies but like financial spaces and like insurance you know s- stuff like that because i feel like that's where um the money is mm. you know but the job market is tough though nah, it's, you tough, it's tough dog like um don't really get a job in south africa it's, it's through, through network yeah, yeah through connections, connections bro. Networking, dog. through connections if you think you're just gonna fuck out your cv online that's not gonna happen bro that was literally it is possible though if like you're a good candidate i feel like i feel like those guys that make it through without connection they have like marks of 80 percent like really high marks yeah, yeah, yeah really yeah. high marks because like i feel like you know Cause I'm I'm a, I get okay I get a 
at least above average marks. But then there's a there's a video. What what is above average? I mean, uh, for me, fifty one is a distinction. I ain't gonna cap. I ain't gonna lie. Fifty one <laughs> is a distinction no for way, me. No way, nigga. Fifty one yeah. is a distinction for me, bro. Fifties do get you a degree, dog, but that shouldn't be what niggas aim for, bro. But bro, uni is tough. Uni is tough. Yeah, I feel like with anything in life, if you apply yourself, dog, you'll get the marks you need, dog. True true but you know even if you because sometimes even though you work hard sometimes it can be a thing of like you reading the question paper and then you like because i'm not gonna lie i'm a cram i'm not gonna lie yeah, yeah, i cram yeah. a lot see, i cram a lot you see you see you see that's not good because with cramming i feel like you only it's like that's many stuff you yeah retrieve like facts the important information but like every like part of that important information has like little bits to lead out to that part yeah so i feel like those little bits people miss so they can just get the bigger picture facts you know when also one thing about cramming bro you know when like you studying cramming cramming you cramming and then you make sure you don't miss that one word when you sit down in the exam and you miss that one word it messes up the whole like everything you remembered because you just forgot that one word now you're just trying to guess like shit exactly bro and, and that's why like, i couldn't do like um um I couldn't do like subjects like biology. Yo, bro. Yo, biology, bro. yo. I could not get past fifty percent, bro. No matter how hard I try, no matter anything. There's I There's too bro, many words to I, study, bro. I, I, like just so bro. much theory, so much definition. Big. Those words are massive, bro. bro. They are long. Learning bro. about the skull, what's inside the skull, what's inside the eye. So the many parts I, inside the, the, the eye. The only thing I remember that from biology, like the two words I know, like, cause I, I, like, I remember that, like, whole, like, body structure system. I only know, like, the flow of, like, the, um, what is it called? When oxygen, what is it called? Oh, what? Damn, yeah. I don't remember. I'm not gonna know what osmosis? Hey, hey, hey. Osmosis has to do with water. <laughs> 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 Hey, hey, I'm a finest nigga. Hey, I'm a finest nigga. You can't blame me. You can't blame me. I'm a finest guy. I'm a finest guy. It is oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. Yeah. I know, like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know, remember that, 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 those diagrams, like, I think oxygenated blood was red and deoxygenated blood. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why am I saying blood? Is it air or blood? No, know. but it's um, I'll get what you're saying. Like something in this. Yeah, but it was yeah, blue and yeah. red, like through the through the body. Yeah, and yeah, then there's a diagram for it as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's what, that, that's the only thing I remember. And like your blood. Cell. But no, like one thing I'll give biology those those science experience were lit. Plasmas no, like, and stuff. Yeah. I only see um this um I only see like these YouTubers <laughs> um ask people what photosynthesis is. What is photosynthesis, Billy? What is photosynthesis, Sim? Nigga, I'm asking you, bro. What is photosynthesis? I'm a finance guy. Nigga, I'm also a finance guy. Explain, bro. Explain and I'll explain. I know it has something to do with the sun. That's what them niggas all say. I know it has something to do with the sun hitting the plant and then the plant growing and... Nah, that's good enough, bro. Even my explanation was not going to be that, but I know what it is. What was your explanation? Let me hear. Let me hear. Um, the process... Wow. Photosynthesis is the process in which plants use um, air, water, and sun, and the sun to... That's, re- a, that's a textbook to, answer, there. To, to, to reproduce or draw. That's a know. textbook answer, though. That's a textbook answer. Yeah, that's why we learn that we get the answer from textbook stuff. But that, that's probably not the definition of photosynthesis, but it's close enough, as mm. long as we know what it is. But I, I'm, I'm glad we that we passed that phase of reading textbooks, boy, studying. I'm glad we're done with that boy, phase, bro. you done, bro. Okay, no, I mean, okay, let me say down with that phase of, like, studying for a test. Yeah, the mom, every day. My, my mom told me something very profound, dog. Like, as a person, no matter, like, where you are in life, dog, there's always something one could learn, bro. Mm-hmm doesn't even have to be like academically but you should always like every year or every month or what whatever try like to learn something new facts something that's how you new. grow as a person yeah, as you know, being, there, you yeah. should facts. never stop learning facts yeah yeah yeah, yeah. facts now nah, that's facts bro that's facts sure we went from afcon 
to now talking to something did, different. Did, but did that's you, dope. Did, did you have more things to ask about Afghan? No, I'm actually no, done. I'm, I'm, I was actually I'm, done. I'm comfortable now, dog. So I'm just talking now, bro. No. So if you have questions or something with Afghan, dog, shoot. No, but I mean, like, we, I mean, who, who's, we ex- who's in the same is actually South Africa and um, Nigeria? South Africa, Nigeria, D- DRC, and Ivory Coast. Okay. But Ivory Coast have been lucky, though, yo. Because, like, they lost oh, yeah. 4 0 to Equatorial yeah, 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 Guinea. Yeah, 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 yeah. They had a red card to, I, th- well, I think, Guinea or something like that. They, they had a red card and they still managed to pull through. They are hosting, right? Ivory Coast. They yeah. Host. Nah, yeah, man. I feel like someone's using Muti. Let's be honest, bro. Someone's using Muti, bro. See, this someone's is using Muti. This is the problem in the Africa. Someone's using Muti, bro. Someone does well. A business does well. <laughs> it does well. It has to. It, has, it all has to go down. To now, but same. But s- same thing about it. Look, DRC, ne? They haven't won a game in group stage. A single game in group stage. This has been draws, 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 draws. They, they were just. You know that thing of an Afcon where you're like when you the best when you. Even though you finish third, when you're like the best finisher in third, that's yeah. when they push you through. DRC. I mean, the only team that's been like good enough to, I mean, to go through is SA. Let me just be honest. Because even like, um, and Nigeria. And Nigeria as well. Yeah. Even Ivory Coast, like the 4 0 with the red card. <laughs> well, sorry, I just thought of something from Twitter. Hey, this Twitter S- thing so right tell now. me, what did they say? <laughs> tell me, what did they say? Firstly, it's like Afro Beats um, versus Piano. Um, there's this one like from Cape Town. All the Cape Townians will get it though. Like, um, <laughs> <laughs> See? It, um, it's, the, it's the big fight for Parklands. I've never been it. to. It's similar to like the big fight for Sun. Do you know Sunnyside? Sunnyside, yeah, like uh, the the lot of yeah that's side. Yeah, but in Parklands, dog, those niggas child of, like Cape Town ladies, dog. Because they guapped up. Let's not lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now Parklands, they guapped up. Parklands is a dangerous place to be if you're a lady. There is no you, way. You if are, you're in Cape Town, you just have to hope yeah, that your hand doesn't know about Parklands. There is no way your you hand have to is hope. making it out of Parklands like alive, dog. Well, well, not alive, but like. Well, niggas, in that sense. Especially when you know Somewhere, that. Somewhere, somehow, she will get child. Especially when you're just trying to make it, trying to find your way, and then she bumps into a nigga that is already in there in life. In, like, you know, she, he already made it in life, bro. That, that um, life is scary, dog. Nah, like facts. Life. Facts, bro. Yeah. But we only, as us, man, we're just trying to make it in life, bro. We just trying to make it in life. We just trying to find ways to make it in life, whether it's big or small. We just trying to find ways to be successful in life, whether if it's getting a job, starting our own stuff. You know, with the podcast now, starting our own stuff because you never know how far yeah, it yeah, will take yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You know, whether it's something small. But here's a question most people fail to answer, dog. What is um success to you? Make sure, making sure my family is good. Mm. That's my success, making sure, like, I wanna, it, do, I want do, it to do, be a do, thing. Do you of, strive to be the richest guy in the room? Or why not? Are, or, or you are good with what you have as long as those around you are sorted. I mean, I also strive for being successful in the room, but I mean, it's also a good feeling knowing that, you know, when a brother of yours or your mom calls you, Sim, and then they like, Sim, I need this, that, you're like, okay, I'll give you that in a minute. That's success for me. Yeah, that's success yeah, yeah, for me yeah, 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 making yeah. sure your family straight making sure people around you as you said are straight you know making sure they're good i i, I view success differently bro. how how do you view it like i i, I don't want to be the richest guy in the room the smartest guy in the room now nah. i'm always okay with being the second man as long as my goals are fulfilled mm. as long as i can take care of those around me you know, as long as I can help out where I can. Mm-hmm. Obviously, making money is important, but mm-hmm. I don't want to be like the richest guy. As long as I'm wealthy, I don't want to be rich. I want to be wealthy. Define what's the difference between rich and wealthy, actually. Dog, for people that are rich, dog, they just have money, dog. Wealth, and wealth is, is the mindset, has basically. to do with everything, like mm. in all areas as well. Financially, like uh. assets, stocks. People identify rich, like as physical money physical stuff cars mm. yeah down assets stocks mm. shares and like physical money but like 
Yeah, I want to be wealthy. Dog. Yeah, just making sure your family's straight as well. Making sure the people around you are straight. Like, yeah, making yeah, sure they're yeah, good. Yeah, making yeah. sure whatever they ask you, you know, they're like, okay, now nah, I can get it for you easy. That's that's my dream, bro. That's my dream. Nah, but dog, that's my you, dream. you'll get it, nigga. You're on the right path, man. Nah, definitely. We both are on the right and path. And the most important thing is starting. Yeah. So shout out for starting the podcast, dog. Shout out, bro. Thanks. I know. And, and I, shout out. I, I've said shout out to him like a lot of times, dog, but I want to get publicly, dog. And, and shout out, I'm no lie. And, 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 skate to this shit. <laughs> and one thing, guys, one thing I want to tell you guys about Sim, man. Like, he's been helping me out, giving me advice on what to do. So shout out to you, bro. Shout out to you for for believing in this podcast believing in the process bro nah, that's, how you hear, that's, that's what that's what us men like we're like we have to push each other guys let's push each other nah, push that's... each other for success greatness because yeah, you never know yeah. what that push how the how far that push can take you yeah dog. and your friend if, you you're, know? if you're good nigga to me dog, i'm gonna be good back dog. my, my mm. niggas know but like i'm loyal to those who are loyal to me mm. dog you know mm. but yeah 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 nah, yeah most deaf most deaf we've been at it for an hour an hour you know? really yeah it, it, short it felt sort of nah <laughs> no lie bro and but this, that's and nigga you were telling me that like nah sim if this episode's was like 30 million <laughs> nah it's okay look at me now nah, dude, i just didn't want to put pressure <laughs> bro i don't want you to make you feel as if like it's maybe i should stay a lot of stuff so that nah, you I, know I, I was just scared but like i'm not used to being like in front of the camera uh uh-huh. Scary, used bro. for behind the scenes huh yeah like yeah like i said second man i don't want to be first but like, a, but as you said if you if you've been doing it long enough that's when you get used yeah, to it yeah but mm. now nah, once that, you get used uh, to uh, it uh, yeah it's, it's, it's not that bad bro, like, mm. yeah now once you get used to it even me the first time i did it i remember my first episode i was with a girl called come nigga i was tense bro like i was like shit i hope i don't flop i hope i say the question is nice i hope my video is well but as you get used to it yeah, it's like that, a process yeah that's why i feel like um we, we both watch our podcasts and yeah some of these podcasts dog um they're becoming too corporate bro mm. you know mm. they're missing that like um essence of authenticity mm. what is it Authenticity, yeah. Authenticity. Authen- 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 authenticity, yeah, yeah. yeah Authen- authenticity, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it all, it all, it's, it's a tongue twister, bro. It is, that one. It's a tongue twister, bro. Authenticity. Authen- authenticity. Oh, you have yes. to say it with like, oh, authenticity. Authenticity, buddy. Yes, they're missing that, though, because they yeah. are too um, corporate. Yeah. Like, it's good to just, like, have normal chats as niggas talk about flipping anything. Mm. Yeah. No, but I feel like, yeah, as you said, like, be also being yourself, because, like, I feel like that's how you get more fans, yeah, being yourself yeah, yeah, as well, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, because yeah, that's what people look for. They don't want you to... I feel like people can spot fakeness as well. People can spot if you're being fake, like, okay, now nah, this guy, this is not actually him. Now they can. Yeah, bro. this is not actually him. And I'm just trying to be as authentic as I can for you guys, for you guys, man. Nah, but this had to guys. be a good show. I drove a long way to get here, though. This guy drove all the way from um, Randburg. Yeah. Nah, it has to be. It has to be. And I hope you guys enjoy it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We've been at it for an hour. Beautiful day. You know. Sim, where can they catch you, bro? Where can they catch you? Where can people follow you? Where, where can people follow your life? Guys, like your pictures? Guys, I'm only on Instagram, guys. <laughs> tell them. Tell them. I, so I, they, I, I ain't got no YouTube uh, channel. Soon, though. Soon. Soon, that's um, gonna be him. Soon, watch the space. Yeah, watch the space. Yeah, and that's not gonna be like these normal YouTube guys. Like, uh, I'm gonna do it differently. I'm not, I'm not gonna be vlogging and shit. That what? Yeah, everyone's vlogging, in, bro. In, Yo, the in, whole world's vlogging. Indoor dive the whole world's vlogging, Indoor bro. Dive yeah. I'm joking. <laughs> I can't stress. But now nah, I'm just like on Instagram. See me so thought Vuyani. I'll put that on the link on my description below. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. That's me. It's been a good chop. And with me, guys, you can follow me. I'll put my everything description below. You can follow me at Brian Gwitch Instagram. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter. Twitter is called X now, but I'm still calling it Twitter because, like, I'm old school. Oh, shit. Dog. I've been calling it Twitter the whole episode, dog. You know, bro, like, X is just nah, like... Nah, but it's Twitter to everyone, bro. Bro, is it, like, we're so used to it for years. Yeah, I, I feel like even ten wow. years from now, I won't call it X. I'll still call it Twitter, bro. Yeah, ten years from now, I'll still call it Twitter, bro. But yeah, guys, look out for Quick Jake. And look out for Sim. Big things are coming. 
for days yes, you know sir. i hope you guys have a good day good week good 2024 first episode of the year and we are Know what you say to the cops, uh, you capping on my name, nigga, and that's a shame. You always try to blame niggas, and you stay the same. But I'm another mate, nigga, I don't relate. I kept to my music, and that's a plan you never made. God damn, God speed, speed, speed. I know they out for me.